What's up, YouTube? All right, my third day in a row bench pressing. I'm feeling better and better a little bit by each day. For those who have been watching me, you know I've been um having breathing problems. Um, just, I'm gonna go to the doctor and get to the bottom of it. But it seems like bench press is the only thing I really can do right now. I ain't been filling up to deadlifts or squats, and I'm gonna do one of the main three all the time because I'm training. I don't know which month I'm gonna compete and where I'm going to compete, but I'm going to try to compete in powerlifting. But mind you, I just benched three days in a row and I can't breathe. So I'm going to just do it, do what I can. I got 225 on the bench right now. Getting into my form, leg drive, make sure I'm centered on the bench, make sure my back is dug in. Right now I'm paying very good attention to detail, trying to breathe in. And I'm going to just get what reps I can get without being able to breathe good. One, two, three, four. Come on, more than that. Five. See how I'm slowing down? Six. Seven. Okay, that ain't that bad. That ain't that bad. Seven reps without being able to breathe. Plus, always go with the rule. Um of always saving some in the tank, especially the fact that I don't have a spotter. So <laughs> um, that's pretty good. You know, that's 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 decent. And okay, that's hmm. Ah shoot. My bad y'all. I think I put the same scene twice. Oh let's count the reps. You count the reps. I ain't gonna count the reps. But yeah, go all the way up, breathe again. Push off, squeeze. Make sure you're got a little arch in my back. If I was to put my hand under, I would be able to fit my hand under my back. One thing that disappoints me right now is, you know, my lats look pretty good right there. But one thing that disappoints me right now, I'm up to 195 pounds body weight, and I'm still struggling with the same weight. You know what I'm saying? Of the same weight that I've been lifting. But at the end of the day, with me doing it without being able to breathe, that tells me I'm getting stronger again. Um, so when I'm able to breathe, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, go ahead and start getting getting back into my 300s on the bench. I'm going to go ahead and throw 315 around, throw 305 around for a couple reps like it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Breathing is a lot. See, this is the game face. I mean, you got to get serious when you're about to lift. I had to do a wave check, even though I got the do-rag on. If you look closely, you can see my waves through my uh, rag. That's how you know your waves are spinning. If you can't see your waves through your rag, your waves are spinning. But right there, I got 245. And whenever I do this camera angle like this, you know that somebody was in the gym trying to get in my camera. But I like this camera angle. It's cool. I like it. But I got 245. I could easily lie and say it's 275, but I'm not. You know, the untrained eye, I think that 10 is a 25. But I'm getting into my form. You know, <laughs> the rings on the bar, you see where my hands were? Those rings vary bar to bar. So people are like, I like to put my pinky on the ring. I like to put my ring finger on the ring. And this is a third on the ring. You can tell they don't lift or they don't lift with other. They probably lift with one place at a time. You know what I'm saying? Like. See, that's BS right there. I only got four reps with 245. That's BS for for me at 195 pounds body weight. When I'm 195, I'm usually in my early to mid threes on bench press. Four reps, that's, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? For me, nah. Couldn't be. I could at least got three more reps. At least three more reps. I need to cut my nails. Y'all seen that? My gloves are all ripped up. Shows I've been putting in work. Beard on point. Okay, there's 275. You see the difference between... Uh, I was going to get two reps. Two reps. Let's see what happens. I've been struggling with one rep. Yesterday I did one rep with 275. It wasn't that hard. But that shows you when I'm doing singles, I'm not maxing. Because if I was maxing with that, I wouldn't even be attempting it again today. Lifting does not mean killing yourself. You should not be walking out of out of the gym on crutches or or having to leave on a stretcher every time you're working out. People will tell you that and they will hype you up to think that that ain't what it's about. 
You know what I'm saying? You always got to save some in the tank when you lift it. Your central nervous system will thank you. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people be stuck at the same weights forever because they don't understand progressive overload. And I will explain that in another video. This video isn't long enough. It's only a six minute video. So I need at least 15 minutes to unrack it. And I held it because and the reason I didn't come down with it is because I couldn't breathe. I usually get a real big gulp of air before I unrack it. I could not get that gulp of air. If you could tell how I'm talking, you could tell I couldn't breathe. So I think about it. You got to think about it. You got to be smart. I could not breathe. You can see it in my face. Look at my face. man. I look pitiful, man. I look terrible. Look at them arms, though. The arms ain't going nowhere. Okay, so I got 315 on the bar. Attempting a bench, a bench hold, static hold, whatever you call it. But a lot of people don't get it, though, when they bulk and cut. They think their arms are big when they be weighing a lot of weight. If your arms don't still look big when you cut, when you lose 30, 40 pounds, then that wasn't muscle. If you ain't got no definition in your arms, look at the definition of my tricep. Look at that. But I bet.